All right, just a real quick demo, proof of concept of the uh, idea of a transition sound for uh, idle or off effect. Um, so the special abilities with the transition sounds are just meant to allow you to use any sound effect you want for any specific purpose. Um, and you can put multiple of them in any style based on the different special ability slots. Um, so for me, it kind of makes sense to use this way. Um, the other thing this does is it allows for a toggle. So right now my saber's powered on, but it's obviously no uh, no sound so if I turn it on but now if I want to have an idle or an off sound I've set it up as a special ability while off and I can turn it on or off so in this case if I turn it on you'll hear I just took a hum sound from a different font and I made it lower in the volume in the wave file but I can trigger it to turn on so now that's just going to continuously loop um, and it is a hum sound, so it's going to have a pretty good mesh point. Um, but that'll just, as long as the saber's off, that's going to keep running. When you ignite the saber, the special ability is written to turn that sound off. Um, now, of course, because the ignitions and other things you wouldn't know anyway, but I checked in the serial monitor to confirm, it does turn off. And then when you retract, as long as this is enabled, it'll actually start it back up. So, it's not, it's not playing. You wouldn't hear it anyway with the hum. But as soon as I turn off, you'll hear the other sound come back on. So it comes back on right as soon as you do the retraction. Um, and then if you didn't want the, that idle sound to be active anymore, you would just do the special ability again. And it turns it off. So now you have the ability to control when that idle sound is on or off, but it also runs itself based on ignition retraction when it's enabled. Um, so... That's kind of the concept with special abilities and those transition sounds is that they can be used for multiple purposes, completely different purposes in each preset. They're controlled by the style code. So again, if you want that sound, you just do your special ability. Your sound runs, but when you get tired of it, you can always deactivate it just from the special ability control instead of any need, needing to make like changes or new controls in the prop. And you can have this on different presets. So you, your pre, some presets can run it, others don't need it. Um, it doesn't inter that's the idea with the special abilities. Each preset kind of gets its own controls and its own things. So, so this way you have at least an ability to toggle it on or off. Um, so in testing for this, I actually found a small bug in my prop in OS 7 um, that would make this a little trickier to launch in OS 7. Not saying it can't be done, um, but uh, OS 8 would be easy. Um, so, um, but in terms of feasibility and everything, it's pretty straightforward from the uh, from what the library is able to handle. Um, now it would just be a matter of uh, proving it out, and then I might need to get a bug fix submitted for OS 7, or we might have to wait for OS 8. Um, but uh, for me, in terms of the original request, I think that this would handle it. Of course, there's other way. There's always more than one way to do anything, but with the code available already with transition sounds and special abilities, this this should cover the request.